Is it hard for you to brush off other people's comments about you? Sometimes you may find yourself letting other people's opinions and thoughts of you dictate the way you live. Whether it's done in fear of being disapproved of or to impress or satisfy the expectations placed on you, this constant worry over what others think can place a huge weight on your shoulders. So if this is something you worry about, here are seven ways to stop caring about what others think. Number one, showing gratitude for yourself and your accomplishments. Have you taken a moment recently to look at how far you've come? It's all too easy to get caught up in trying to impress those around you with the best grades, skills, and financial income. Maybe you feel as though you aren't earning enough money or accomplishing enough, or worry that others may look at you with shame, scorn, or even pity. According to a study posted in the Journal of Happiness, states that showing gratitude not only to those around you, but to yourself is an effective way of enhancing your mental well-being. Think about all of the things that you've done in the past couple of years. Chances are you're not in the exact same place that you were and that you've had to overcome some of your own personal challenges and difficulties to get where you are today. Be your own cheerleader and look inward to find validation and pride in what you do and who you are. Number two, alone time is okay. Unplug and step away. How often do you use social media? A thorough review of multiple research papers over the years has come to the conclusion that usage of social media may help those who don't have much contact with others feel more connected. However, for others, correlations can be spotted for the opposite as well. Using social media when you're going through tough times may be making it harder for you to shake off the way you feel, as it may be constantly reminding you of how you stand compared to others. It's no doubt that when we connect with other people, we can let their opinions, successes, mindsets, and actions overpower ours. So it may be helpful to take some time alone and get away from the internet and social media from time to time. Number three, we are all human. Nobody is Superman. Do you compare yourself to others or belittle your achievements in the face of somebody else? This is such a common occurrence that just about everybody on earth has done it. However, when you put others on a pedestal, you may end up deluding yourself from the person they really are. You might even look up to your hero so much that you end up feeling insignificant in comparison. This can be especially true when your hero is somebody you know like a parent, boss, or a very smart friend. But it helps to remember that even if they seem to be perfect, they make mistakes too. There is no magic gift that only a handful of people get when they're born, and everyone can mess up from time to time. Remember that this person is a breathing, living human being that has made and still makes mistakes, even if you may not see them. Number four, keeping the focus on what you want. Are you doing the things you wanna do? Every person has different perceptions, desires, hobbies, and passions that they love. Because of this, you may find yourself caring about what other people tell you that you should want. Others may try to reframe your wants or desires to fit their thoughts and feelings without fully thinking about yours. So try to be selective of the things you care about. If you spend all your time dealing with everyone's issues, you're going to worry about things that you aren't passionate about or things that make you think, why am I doing this? Or wait, I don't like doing this thing at all. So to avoid falling into these sinkholes, Spend less time worrying about every small thing and try to repaint a picture of what you truly want. Number five, sculpt the person you are. Do you know why you feel the way you feel when someone else laughs at you? Or why do certain words, phrases, or types of personalities bother you in the way that they do? When you take the time to focus on what everyone else wants, you may forget that there is a lot about yourself that you don't know. Do you ever feel confused about your emotions? This can be a good indicator that you need to learn more about yourself to find out why you may feel nervous or scared of what others think of you. Knowing the source of this anxiety and worry may help you understand what it is you're struggling with so you can work towards becoming better. Number six, don't try to make everyone happy. You can't. No matter who you are, you can't make everyone happy. Personalities clash, opinions differ. And everyone is constantly changing, not only how they view you, but also themselves. So while you may think that the whole world is laughing and pointing at you when you've made a mistake, this is never the case. People move on and forget. This is why it's important to make the distinction between 
how something makes you feel versus what actually happened. Striving to make everyone happy with your actions is truly an impossible act, one of which nobody in the world can achieve or has ever accomplished. Then number seven, building your self-esteem. Are you your own worst critic? Given that we are responsible for making and learning from our experiences, we tend to put ourselves at the center of blame as a result. However, when you only criticize yourself instead of trying to learn and correct your mistakes, you run the risk of hurting and worsening your self-esteem. Having good self-esteem is important as it can help you assert your thoughts and needs and to be more realistic when making decisions. In turn, it can help pry away that seemingly compulsive need to check or analyze how and what other people think of you. When you're able to maintain a clear and wholesome image of yourself with all of your strengths and talents, you may find that other people's perceptions and opinions of you will just roll right off your back. Is this something you struggle with? At some point in another, I think we all do. Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, or share this video with someone who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video, as always, are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.